Behold the magnificent scrapier. A connoisseur of metals and things that are recyclable. He will stop his mighty beast for a sole umbrella post. Welcome back to the show, guys. Today, I have a very special video for you. It's actually something I haven't done before. I'm going to call it my mailbox find of the week. And maybe this will be an ongoing thing, but I have a whole bunch of stuff here to show you guys that I got in the mailbox. All of the crap that I purchased over the last few weeks. Showing up at my doorstep, it's not crap, though. This is some high-dollar, high-quality die-cast-related stuff. For the most part, there may be a few mystery items in here as well, which always adds the element of surprise and will have to do with toys. Nothing boring. This is all going to be toys in this video. So let's see what we've got. Let's rip open some packages. Here's the situation. What we've got is a giant box with a big order of mostly brand new Johnny Lightning stuff in there. So we're going to look at all of that stuff. We've got a little bit of green light by the looks of it. Auto World as well. This is all brand new, first to the market, haven't seen it before, so you're going to be able to order any of this stuff if you want. We've also got some vintage stuff, a few uh, envelope packs. Do not bend. Um, this all started, thank you very much, Stephen and Peter, for sending me these two Matchbox uh, catalogs from 1977 and 1982. Uh, this was part of those mystery box one and two that I videoed in April. So you can just see, we didn't even go through these things yet because it's a whole video in itself uh, by my standards anyways. And I think that definitely each of these is going to be a year by year matchbox video. But what I'm saying is I got a little carried away. <laughs> Once I got those, I had to get more as I do. And I started with uh, 1964. I think that's going to round out most of my collection. So these go way back to the old all steel, no interior matchbox cars. And, oh man, there's so much cool stuff in these things. It's just amazing. There's more than just cars too. There's all sorts of play sets and just really cool artwork. Uh, fantastic. And these were in mint condition. And actually, it turns out they're actually kind of valuable. So... These three catalogs I purchased from one seller on eBay, 64, 65, and 66, those sent me back almost $200 Canadian for these three catalogs. Now, mind you, they are in mint condition, and uh, the rest of the later year catalogs don't seem to command anywhere near that price, which is why most likely we've got a whole bunch more in this solid box that we're going to open up, and maybe this box, I don't know. Actually, that one's a bit heavy for catalogs. There's going to be some die cast in here, but we've got a whole bunch of die cast in here as well. So let's get all this out of the way. All this paper and plastic. Where are the cars at? Let's get further into this box. Doing a live uh, kind of, so to speak. It's not really live, but I haven't been through this thing before. So it's kind of live, I guess. 1978 Pontiac Firebird Macho Trans Am. This is from the Greenlight Exclusives, so uh, pretty cool. Now, all these cars are going to be coming out for a loose review. Well, I think all the green lights will anyways, and I'm pretty sure I bought duplicates of all the Johnny Lightnings because they are so awesomely cool that you're going to have to see them out of the package. Surf Rods, wow, look at that one. One of 4,156, part of the Street Freaks category. Pretty cool car. Got the all kind of like, look at those wood strips that make up the sides. The waves in the back window. That is just gorgeous. Love it. 64 Olds Vista Cruiser, of course. In the Surfin, the Sunrise Yellow with the wood paneling. And on the back of this, you've got the whole collection. Look for 2020 Release 3. That's not it. That This car is not part of that release, though. Is it? Is it? Uh, it is part of the Street Freaks release four. So you got the surf rods right there, 64 old Vista Cruiser. Obviously, a whole bunch of cool cars in here that I am going to want to collect, and most likely you're going to see in this box. So let's get let's get them out of the way. Yeah, there's duplicates, so you're going to see that one loose. Now I got these for a pretty good price from an eBay seller. 
Um, there's so many different cars to choose from these days. It kind of comes down to making it the most economical to purchase all this stuff to show you guys because I am not sponsored. So, I mean, pretty much for the most part, not sponsored by the brand manufacturers. Got to really choose and pick to see how I can get the best cars out of this bunch. Did I just get a white lightning? I don't remember ordering a white lightning of this. What the heck is going on here? There's no way, no way, no way. I never, I definitely did not order a white lightning of this car. So what's going on here? I gotta sh uh, check my shipping, my shipping way bill, but we have a white lightning of the release one. I just had to double check your vaulted box, the vaulted box. There's their eBay handle, obviously a terrific rating, 100% positive feedback. Did, what, like, what is going on here? Got the 87 Aston Martin V8, 007, 87, 67. Well, it almost looks like a, almost looks like this was either an accident or a complete gift. I don't really understand. What is going on here? How did I get... How did I get these cars? But no, there's uh, nothing else here from the... Uh, thank you. Note from Vaulted Box. Thanks for your purchase. I hope you love it. Well, I do. I absolutely love it. It, it was a little expensive. But I absolutely love it. I wasn't planning on getting a White Lightning. Heck, I'm so excited. Even Nina decided to come down and see what's going on. Because uh, when she hears roars about White Lightnings... She really has to investigate, so. Wow, that is awesome. Release one. Well, thank you very much. That's awesome. If you're watching this video, Vaulted Toy Box, uh, I hope that you enjoy my reaction to this because it is of total surprise and total awesomeness. White Lightnings are amongst the, uh, they're the treasure hunts of Johnny Lightning, basically. Uh, treasure hunts being kind of more, Cinemas with Hot Wheels, uh, but this is kind of like the ultimate chase version of a car that you can get. And this is a classic piece. What's the copyright on this? 2020. Not that classic, not that old, but very, very, very cool. So, looks like we're going to get the main line opened up. We're probably going to keep that white lighting in the package. What else have we got? Yeah, Demolition Derby, my absolute favorite series from Johnny Lightning. If you guys are watching, just so you know, I'm not alone in loving this series from your Street Freaks Demolition Derby series. Today we've got the 67 Ford Fairlane stock car. I really still think that Johnny Lightning should put out a six car series of nothing but Demolition Derby cars. I mean, these are limited still, only one in 2,500. I find it hard to believe. Uh, Demolition Derby has several classes of racing. Few include bone stock, limited weld, compact, and even the wild caravan class where trailers are pulled. Yes, and more. I've seen school buses get smashed together. I've seen combine smash-ups. Get on YouTube and look up Combine Demolition Derby if you want to if you want to see something funny. Uh, what do we got here? Because it's really stuck in there. So we've got another version of that car. So let's keep moving on here by the vaulted toy box. Actually, a little more packaged than I can might I might be able to handle in this video doing it off the cuff but we'll we'll do our best spoilers check it out 1985 Monte Carlo wow that is just a gorgeous gorgeous casting what do we got this deep violet metallic engine exposed through the hood love these big old G body cars now that, of course, is also part of the Series 4. And most likely, yeah, I'm pretty sure I bought duplicates of everything. Just going to double check. Well, I did get the alternate color at least. We'll check for duplicates still. But we got it in the intense orange metallic as well. as that violet metallic. So pretty cool. Most likely all these cars are coming out of the packaging. What else can we do here? Oh, good. That was easy. Let's get that done on a few of these. Get a little roll going here. For those that don't want to see packaging. Oh yeah, the 99 Mazda MX-5 Miata. I mean, heck, we were just looking at Hot Wheels 
Mazda MX-5 Miatas in the last vintage diecast year-by-year -year video. There's a couple. But look at this version. Wow. A lot newer, of course, in the custom candy apple red from the import heat. What am I stepping on here? Holy smokes. So many cool cars. This is also from release four. And there is going to be a secondary color for that car. No doubt, right here. Here we go. And you've got in classic racing light blue. So cool. Really excited to get those out. One of 4,588 pieces. Holy smokes, I forgot all about these. Wow, here we have the 1964 Ford Thunderbolt Tasca Ford Tribute. The Tasca Ford Tribute. One of 3,508 with a 427 lurking under the hood. Beautiful, beautiful card art, too. It's hard to open all these up. They're so nice. And which series is this part of? Still, I think, release four. Quite, there's a lot of variety. I mean, I always say, wouldn't it be nice to see six demolition derby cars? Uh, then again, what Johnny Lightning does is they make six different brands within each six car set to ensure that collectors will always be interested in at least one car. Uh, depending on your interests, in each of the boxed cases that do come out. So, let's just put those over there. So, I mean, in some ways, what I ask for is greed. Greed. Hmm, I don't seem to have a problem with greed, do I? Yeah, let's not think about it too hard. Ah, bye with you, plastic. Demolition Derby, Ford Fairlane in stock car bleu. No, flat rattle can, bright blue. So this is the first time we've seen the 67 Ford Fairlane used as a Demolition Derby car, just also for those of you that haven't been collecting Johnny Lightning Demolition Derby cars as much as I have, which is basically from day one, which was from about 10 years ago. These things... Uh, these things usually get the some of the most coveted castings and most realistic to find in a demolition derby, I would say. So we've got two red, two blue, so definitely okay there. We've got a white lightning and a normal of the 007. Two of that, one of each of these, one of each of those. What else do we have in here? I think we saw more Auto World in here. I'm seeing Auto World. Auto World, yes, some brand new Auto World luxury cruisers. One of 11,800 on this premium release 5 version A in the uh, Lido Green Pali. So cool. If I don't have two of these already, I'm definitely opening up these cars to add to my El Dorado Collection. And here we go. It. I do believe I've already got these cars once before. That bright red dash does seem somewhat familiar. Total 35,802 Cadillac Eldorado Coupes built in the 75 model year. Well, that's pretty cool information. Now, Auto World and Johnny Lightning, own, both owned by the same parent company, just in case you didn't know. So, explains why the quality and the collectability is so awesome. Got one more after this. Holy smokes, black with flames. What have we got here? One of 2,500, this is a Chrysler Imperial, and Dean Jeffries modified a 66 Imperial Crown to create the black beauty feature in the Green Hornet TV series. Well, basically, here's the Green Hornet, but flamyized, if that's a word. Gloss black with orange flames, it says. Wow, that is a, that's a snazzy looking coupe, I would say. What do we got here? Here's another one. So we're getting one of those opened up. Don't look at it too long. We're going to open up one of those as well. And I'm imagining we probably got the alternate version here. Yep. Indeed. Oh, my. Oh, dog, you do have good taste. Black with flames. 
the Imperial Conclusion. I'm going to call it. Oh, that looks amazing. That looks sick. I don't even have a regular version of this car, but you know what? That's partly because the original releases from Johnny Lightning of this car are getting to be kind of a high-priced collector item these days, going on several years, if not decades old at this point. This is a rare casting, though, to find in the line, and it's awesome that they found a way to get it licensed with some flamage on it, not only in orange, but green. We've got the green taco flames, as well as the orange bonfire flames. I think that's going to about do it for this box, so let's make some room. Off you go. And uh, where did all those envelopes get to? There they are. Okay, we're going to open up some envelopes and some mystery boxes. We've got two. Hey, we've got one green light. Only one green light in this bunch. Got a few boxes to open up. Let's see what's in these now. All right, well, thank you for sticking with me this long, if you have indeed done so. Oh, this isn't... <laughs> This is a mystery box. This is not uh, this is not die cast, I don't think. This is what is this? What is this? This is Lego. Oh yeah, I, I purchased a bunch of different Lego parts and ramps. Part of another mystery, I guess. Uh, wow, look how they send things. Holy smoke. So this was off of Bricklink, which is a website where you can buy individual lego parts to replace lost parts or broken parts missing from your collections and whoever sold these to me i gotta double check <laughs> what a pro man what a pro i mean this is exactly what i ordered to the part i'm sure I, don't, I doubt i have to even double check and this is a very interesting way of packaging things so this is all part of my lego city which the diorama die-cast stuff is going to find itself on. But we'll just leave that aside for a bit. Let's see what else we've got. Okay, some foam. Come on. It doesn't want to come out. There we go. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. What have we here? A huge, huge, huge bag of, uh, looks to be Matchbox magazine catalogs, sales brochures that I've ordered from someone, all from one seller. There you go. Check it out. Looks like we've got a little letter here as well. Let's see what's in there. Off camera first, just to be sure that no one's private identity has been uh, compromised, but uh, let's see what we've got. 1975, a great new range of toys, obviously. Oh, wow, so many cool things in here. Oh, I cannot wait to do the year-by-year -year on Matchbox now that I have these. I've, you know, it, this didn't exist for the Hot Wheels that I have in my year-by-year -year videos. I mean, I rely on multiple sources, mostly online stuff, a few outdated books, but here we have right from the source what Matchbox produced. And so much of this stuff is familiar as well. I mean, I have so much Matchbox in my collection. We've got 76, that was 75, 76, 86. Someone has put a few little pen marks in here that wasn't disclosed in the uh in the eBay seller thing. That's okay. I don't care. That's because I have all these cars already, so it doesn't really matter. We're going to see all the cars that you see in each catalog for the year by year that I have in my collection. Mintest ones possible as well as most smashed just for fun in the video. And you're going to see all of these cars. 1980, 1989, 1971, boys and girls. What is with a Scorpiono? That is awesome. I cannot wait to get through these things with you guys. 1979 to 1980 catalog. These are not thin either. I mean... We're looking at 78 pages per catalog. That is impressive. Very impressive. 1983, my birth year. My birth year. Opens up to some models of yesteryear. Well, I guess that's what I am to. What have we got here? 1974. Check it out. This is phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. 
So excited to be starting this review with you guys. Hope you guys are as excited as I am to get through these awesome, awesome catalogs with all the amazing artwork from Mattel. This stuff going on four decades old. This one has to be my favorite artwork, though. I have to say it's very Mad Max kind of inspired. 1972. So much cool stuff in here. So much cool stuff. My goodness. 1970 edition. I don't know which ones I'm missing, but I think I might be missing one or two years. We'll get into that as we go. Probably won't be missing it by the time I get to the year by year you need. 1968. I might be missing a 67. Am I missing a 67? I got 64, 65, 66. I think I am missing a 67. So uh, we'll get to it. We'll get to it. So there's a whole ton of catalogs, matchbox catalogs. And uh, I've got this other mystery, mystery thing. Well, if you like one year so much, you might as well buy two. This one's absolutely mint, 1983. I think that was an accident. So we got another 83. Okay, so I don't have accidents when I buy two from the same seller. We've got two from 1984. In case you're missing it, now you're not. Phenomenal. And one more envelope that's in here. Very well protected. Uh-oh. Some scissors. Wow. Which year is it? 1973. Now, this one was the hardest one to find for me. Although, uh, not impossible, clearly. So, we've got that. We've got all of those boxes opened up. And uh, let's just... Oh, I'm just going to have a look at that. It might just be an invoice. But let's get into some of these other awesome cars, what I have in duplicate. Get them out, opened up for you for a full, loose review. And what exactly are we opening up here? Well, this video is carrying on, but let's get started. Let's start with one of my favorites, and in no particular order, the 64 Oldsmobile Vista Cruiser Surf Rod. Now, I can afford, obviously, to rip these open without too much hesitation. In the fact that I did buy duplicates, there it is. Absolutely awesome. Is that a flip down, flip down tailgate? Surfboards on the roof. Very, very fancy surfboards. Got the opening hood. It's a metallic white all the way around. It's quite nice. Very, very, very nice model. White wall tires. Rolls like a champ. Next model out is going to be the non-white lightning version of this 1967 Ast or 87. It is an 87. I don't know why I keep saying 67. It's a 1987 Aston Martin. No time to die. No time to die. I don't have any time to die. Do you have time to die? I don't have time to die. Nobody has time to die. Nobody got time for that. How about this? Look at it. Wow, amazing. Spoke wheels. Does not appear to have any opening parts. Well, maybe it does. Maybe that hood's just so fit. I don't think it opens. But what a nice model. European license plates. All rubber tires, of course. Let's open some of these black with flames. What do you think about that? 66 Imperial Crown Custom. Bye-bye, cardboard. Check it out. Flamage. Got some green flamage. Now, these gloss black ones always need a little bit of a wipe to make them look amazing. So, let's get that out of the way. And if only the Samsung could learn how to focus, that would be overly helpful. Look at those taillights right up the trunk. Got the actual green wheels on it. Playing Mantis. What a cool looking car. Another roller. 
Let's check out the uh, gloss black with orange flame version. Uh oh, this one's going to be uncooperative at best. What are we going to do about that? Oh, don't you hate it when that happens? It's like a whole nother challenge. Out you come. Oh, don't forget. Wipe, 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 wipe. Oh, jeez. There we go. More awesome paint work. Those flames are spectacular. I'm really struggling with the phone focus today. Not really sure why. Anyways, that's a beautiful rendition. This one's not rolling as well as the other ones. What's going on here? Oh, I see what the problem is. We got a bent wheel. Tires a little off the rim, that's all. A little adjustment there. All right, further work required. What else have we got? Demolition Derby cars. You know you want to see them, so do I. Oh, I did it again. Okay, got that out. The cardboard thing's a little bent, but really, I don't really, not really gonna add a lot of value. So here is the flat spray can blue version of the Ford Fairlane stock car with the opening hood. No window pieces, that's purposeful. Great details all the way around. This little buggy, metal base, rubber tires, steely wheels. Hours of fun. Oh, wow. Okay, so that's just a Johnny Lightning thing, maybe. I don't know. There's another way of doing this without bending wheels and cardboard as we get things out here. Now, this is a shiny version, so a little bit of a smushy smush. Got the opening hood as well. Mud behind those front fenders. So cool. Smash! What else did we promise that we would open? We might as well open everything. We're having so much fun here. This this looks worth opening. Finally, one that opened a little easier. Let's give it a shine. Get any uh, nuisance fingerprints out of the way incredibly awesome looking car monte carlo number five five on the door five five we got number five five in the metallic purple now i mean you guys know i only got one of these each so i mean am i a package collector i guess not mostly no Mostly just enjoy playing with diecast and looking at them with you guys. Checking out all the details. Doing a proper review, that sort of thing. Goodness, which one do you like better? The uh, bright orange version or that deep metallic purple? For me, it's going to be the orange. Love it. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of all these cars. Obviously, I am... Very interested to hear what my viewers think of the product that I love so much. What do they think of it? What do you think of it? Got a couple of Miatas. Let's open these up simultaneously. Just opened up $300 plus worth of cars in a matter of minutes. Very cool looking cars. Super awesome. Love the uh, white. Let's look at one at a time. White rally wheels. Hmm. Very nice details all the way around. Max 5, it says on the uh, license plate. Oh, it's got mirrors too. I like when they put mirrors on the cars. And this, these are heavy. These are really, really heavy. These are heavy cars. And they jump around, they bounce, they bounce, they jump. And geez, they're really nice. Really nice models. Really, really nice. 
Okay, we've got two more cards to look at. That's the Task of Ford. Rip. And out. This one also has an opening hood. The Task of Ford. Beautiful details. Check out the details under that hood. Give it a little wipe. Almost looks like trunk. the trunk. The trunk is a separate piece. So you could remove that in customizing. Interesting. Not actually openable, but very, 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 very cool. And here is the cream, creamish looking version with the black steely wheels on the back. Also separate trunk piece. You can see around there, I can almost get this big gnarly thumbnail in the trunk lid and jam it out, but I wouldn't want to do that. Very, very, very cool. Oh man, I love when they put in the, uh, the nice details under the hood as well. Really, really makes a difference. At 164 scale, incredible. We got some locked up tires. Why is that? Tires off the rim. I mean, these tires come right off if you, uh... oh, uh oh, we're making it worse. We'll get back to that after. Uh, we've got a few more models to open up. One green light and two auto worlds. Let's get that. The only green light out of the package. This is the Macho TA 104 DKM. Pontiac Fiber Bed. It's a green light exclusive. So let's just get it out. Keep that too, I guess. And now green lights, pretty much factory required, have to have some sort of cleanup. Uh, usually they're quite goopy with thumbnail prints and fingers and all that sort of thing. We don't like that. Now it does have an opening hood, but I'm probably not going to be able to open that up even with my big old picker here. So let's just leave her be. Love the details on the lower door sill. Macho TA, amazing details, the tires and all the way around, just a really, really nice green light model. And of course, like all 164 scale premium models, Johnny Lightning, Auto World, Green Light, M2, they all really, really, really look nice together. So we have seen these before here on the channel. I did not open them up, so, well, thanks for sticking around. You get to enjoy these things opened up. Just see what kind of details we got on these things. Really, really been anxious to open up a couple Auto World Eldorados. I haven't done that in a while. Got a little bit of an Eldorado jonesing kind of effect going on here. Awesome pinstriping, awesome details, big old opening hoods on these things. Let's see if we can get some details under the hood. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Just wicked details. Auto World really is my favorite brand because they are true 164 scale, not just approximate. And they do have superior details. Limited run so far of models, but that's ever, ever changing, ever increasing as Auto World gains dominance in the collector market. Thankfully, riding on the coattails of Johnny Lightning, which ain't so bad, guys. I mean, love the Johnny Lightning. Always have got a huge quantity of Johnny Lightnings in my collection. We've looked at a lot of stuff today. We've got Johnny Lightning, Green Light, one Green Light, Lego, <laughs> Lego, mm, old vintage magazines. So this is about $1,000 worth of stuff here on the table. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you're after any of it, happy hunting, happy collecting. Stay safe. We'll see you in the next video.